Subscapers and welcome to Regicide Quest Guide. The quest requirements are underground pass and the skill requirements are 10 crafting and 56 agility. You can boost your agility from 51 with summer pie, but I would recommend you to have at least 52 if you are boosting. The item requirements are 2 to 4 ropes, 1 limestone, 1 empty pot, 1 strip of cloth, 1 cooked rabbit, 10 to 15 coal, keep them in your bank for now, a short bow, it can be regular, oak, maple, willow or yew. Crossbows do not work or short bows that require no ammunition. Bring 5 arrows, they cannot be ogre, god, broad, arrowside, wild, dark or ice ones. Make sure to have some combat gear with you. If you are using ranged, bring 100 more arrows and if you are using magic, make sure to bring combat runes. Have as much free inventory slots as possible and the recommended items are skills necklace with at least two charges, an Iban staff, you can get one of the Tyronven task set achievements done if you want to but that is optional and if you are going to do that bring some runes with you. Also bring 5 food, 1 super anti-poison or anti-poison, 1 super energy potion and 2 summer pies. The recommended unlocks are lodestones to Ardoin and Al Carid, and the enemy to defeat is level 56. Let's go! To start off, check your quest log if you have started the regicide. Then we are using the lodestone to Ardoin. We are heading to the Ardoin castle now. The quest starts when you get the King Lata's messenger to pop up after completing underground pass and the scroll is useless after getting it. Climb upstairs. Head to the center room and talk to King Latas. Climb downstairs. Head west. We are going to underground pass next. Don't worry about it. You do not have to complete most of the things in the underground pass such as killing the unicorn or putting the orb of lights to the furnace but yeah there are some obstacles to tackle let's keep going west Enter the cave to your west. Take the northern path by climbing over the rocks and keep going west while climbing over the rocks. Go west, talk to Koftik, unequip your arrows and use the damp cloth to your arrows. Then right click the arrow and light it. Build your bow and the arrow, go north, click on the guide rope to your west. You will get an animation. Go north and pick up the plank from the ground. Keep going south and before the green room head east. Take the upper path and use the rope to the ground. There is the old spike beneath your feet. You might fail this one. 
If you succeed, go east. Then around the corner, head south and climb over one rock. Head southwest and there is the grid puzzle. It is the same as previously, so if you remember the answer, use that. Take a screenshot or write on a notepad which grids made you fail and which ones are the correct path. When you're done, click on the lever to your south. Proceed to west. There are traps on the northern wall and then on the southern wall. You can disarm those, but I'm going to run past them and taking some damage. Keep going west and enter the well. Go west again. Click on the first cage cell door to your south and click on the mud to dig it. Head west, take a bite out of your summer pie to boost your agility and click on the ledge to cross it. You might fail this one as well. If you succeed, keep going east. Cross the bridge. Cross the bridge again. Take the southeastern path, cross the bridge there. Then head northeast, cross the bridge. Northeast, cross the bridge. When you're done, keep going east and then head south. There is a pipe to your west when you go all the way to south. Click on the pipe. Head west and go through the tunnel to your north. Head northeast. You can ignore the paladins that we had to kill previously. Go to the northwestern corner and enter the door over there. Head west, this is the safest path, and you have to cross only three bridges. When you are near the wall, head south. We will take the third bridge. So that is one, two, and then comes the third one. Take a bite out of your summer pie and cross the bridge to your east. Keep going east. Go southeast. Cross the bridge to your south. Cross the bridge to your south. Now you can wield the Ivan staff and kill one of these guys. You will get an achievement for the Tyronwyn task set. Go west and enter the door. Click on the well to your west and climb down. Click on the prayer altar to your north to get some prayer and keep going west. You can click on the obelisk to your north to get some summoning points, but otherwise keep going west and enter the cave to your west. We are now at Tiranwun. 
Keep going west and soon you should see Idris. Idris will get killed and you can proceed. If you do not see this, log out and log in. If that doesn't work, just move on. Then go southwest, there is a trap. Click on it to jump across it. Go past the musician and then head southwest. Click on the trap to your west. This might take several attempts. Go southeast and there is the lodestone. Click on it to unlock it. Head northwest and follow the path. Click on the trap to jump across it. Keep going northwest. Click on the agility shortcut and at the camp talk to Lord Ironbird. Use the lost on the Tyranovan. Talk to the Elf Tracker. Head northwest and follow the path. We are heading to the same place as just a couple seconds ago. Click on the leaves to jump across them. Keep going north and click on the agility shortcut. Make sure to have at least one free inventory slot and then talk to Lord Ironbird. Use the lodestone to Tarnwin. Talk to the Elf Tracker. Head west and click on the tracks on the ground. Talk to Elf Tracker to your east. Head west. This time click on the trees to go through dense forest. You have to click on them multiple times. Kill the guard. Head northwest. Click on the tripwire to cross it. It's between the rocks. Click on the trees to your north. Again, you need to click on them multiple times. Head northwest. Follow the path. And then southwest. Click on the dense forest multiple times. Go south and talk to General Hiding. Head south behind the biggest tent. 
there are some barrels, pick up two, you will need only one for this quest, but the other one is for Morning's End Part 1. After that, you still lost on to Tyranvun. Head northwest. We are heading to Lord Ayerworth again. Click on the leaves to jump across. Head north and click on the agility shortcut. After that, talk to Lord Ayerworth. Make sure to have at least one free inventory slot. You will get a book, read it and keep it in your inventory for the whole quest. To your north, there is an empty pot. Pick it up if you don't have it already. Then use the lost on to Tyranven. Head south. This is the correct spot. Use the barrel to the tar. Hitbox is really, really tiny and it is this one. Click both of the barrels to the tar spot to fill them. Then click on the sulfur, it is on the ground to your northwest, and then click on the sulfur in your inventory to grind it. Use the lodestone to Alcarid, we need to visit a furnace. Head to the furnace, make sure you have an empty pot in your inventory, right click your limestone and use it to the furnace. This will get you a quick slime. Right click your skills necklace, then use the crafting guild teleport. Head east and use the bank. Deposit your sword bow, the remaining ropes, the iban staff and some food. Take around two pieces of food with you and then take as much coal as possible. I'd say 10 is enough. Keep going south and we are going to Remington. We are heading to the chemist house and talking with the chemist. Select the chair options, ask about regicide. What is Napta and how do I make it? What's Quickslime? What's Primstone? Use your barrel of coal tar to the fractional still. Click on the wheel to your right twice. It is the tar regulator. Click on the pressure valve when the pressure is on the green meter. Now you can breathe a little bit. Add some coal. Look at the heat meter on your right. Add some coal and keep the heat at the green. When the heat drops a little bit, add one coal, wait a couple of seconds and keep it balanced at the green meter. If you failed, try again, otherwise we will continue. You should have the barrel of Napta in your inventory. Click on the quick slime to grind it into a pot of quick slime. Use the ground sulfur to the barrel of Napta. Click on the pot of quick slime to the Napta mix and you should get the barrel bomb. Right click the strip of cloth and use it to the barrel bomb. Use the lodestone to Tyranvun. Head west. We are going through the dense forest. You need to click multiple times.
follow the path, click on the trap to deactivate it, it's between the rocks. Click the dense forest to your north multiple times to get across. If you get poisoned, use the super anti-poison. Keep going northwest and you should see a catapult. Right click, right click the cooked rabbit from your inventory and use it to the catapult guard. From your inventory, click on the barrel bomb and use it to the catapult. This is a very specific hitbox and it has to be catapult and not the lever. This will start on cutscene, which you cannot skip. Use the loads on the Tyrion one. Head northwest. This is the last time we are heading over here. Click on the leaves to jump across them. Head north and click on the agility shortcut to get across. Talk to Lord Iorvert. You should get the Iorvert's message, then use the lodestone to Ardoin and we are returning to the Ardoin castle. Head southwest. Near the castle you should see an elf pop up. It's supposed to happen and you will get some chat dialogues. Go through them. Head to the castle. Climb up the stairs and talk to King Ladhas. That is the end of the quest. Congratulations! Regicide quest completed. You can get rid of the crystal pendant, but make sure to keep the book. Remember to leave a like, comment or subscribe, and see you in the next one.